I'm it. I'm a highly evolved, sophisticated, urbane, metrosexual culty. <laughs> I use L'Oreal uh, for men moisturizer. I wear pink shirts in public. I change my underwear almost every single day. I have sophisticated Dublin friends, some of whom are in this room. Myself and my sophisticated Dublin friends decided to go for a drink on Saturday. So we went to a pub. We saw a nice bar called The Front Lounge. <laughs> now, we all knew it was a gay bar. But none of us would be so boorish as to mention it as we walked in the door. So I went up to the poster beside the bar with the drag queen advertising karaoke nights on Wednesday at half eight. <laughs> Sounds like a great night, by the way. <laughs> and ordered a round of drinks. And then, basically, some guys in pink t-shirts came along uh, with buckets collecting money for gay marriage equality. <laughs> and, of course, we contributed. And... Uh, I didn't want to give too much in case they thought I was gay. <laughs> but I wanted to give enough that they knew that I wasn't homophobic. <laughs> Two euro, by the way. <laughs> so anyway, there, I'm there in my urban sophisticatedness. <laughs> and the next minute, I feel a hand on my ass. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> and I didn't know how to react. And I was freaking out. And I'm actually really worried about the fact that I was freaking out. Because everybody knows that people who are really homophobic are actually all closet homosexuals. <laughs> and I'm not homosexual, I'm straight. <laughs> so I have to do something about this. I need to do about it something quickly. So I've come up with a plan. I'm going to go back into the front lounge wearing bicycle shorts <laughs> to get over my homophobic fear of getting my ass felt by gay men. <laughs> <laughs> and if I don't see all the rest of you in there in spandex shorts, <laughs> you're all a bunch of homophobic puffs. <laughs> Thank you, you've been 